Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to Northern Wash Pressure Washing. And today we are starting off with me driving already because I woke up late. But uh, it's not anything bad. I woke up late because my daughter was sick last night. My youngest daughter, um, the one year old, she just turned one um, a couple weeks ago. We were up with her, oh gosh, I swear, like to like four in the morning. So she started crying like around 10. And then we were up with her till like four in the morning. She would fall asleep for like 10, 15 minutes, but then wake up right away. I slept through my alarm. Obviously I was so tired, uh, I didn't hear it. I woke up right when I'm, I woke up right when I'm supposed to leave the house. So um, I'm not too far behind. I'm only like, it says I'll get there in 10 minutes. So I'm only like 30 minutes behind. All right, guys, I'm all set up right here. I already spoke with the customer. All right, so this is the house right here that I'm going to be washing. It's pretty dirty. Uh, I'll, I'll get up close. It's got a lot of uh, cobwebs. You guys can see that. almost forgot. And then we are doing the concrete sidewalk because the concrete sidewalk is really green. So I'll, I'll show you guys how that looks. Actually, I pan up right now, but you guys can see there's a green haze. Uh, more so under the trees than out here. The sidewalk right here that we're watching. And it gets even progressively darker as we go. I mean, you guys can see the sides, how green it is. And again, I'll, I'll pan up, but you guys can see it's lighter over there where the sun hits it and then it just gets darker over here. All right, so this is the side of the garage where we just came in from over there where the sidewalk was. It is an aluminum ho um, house. But yeah, I'll get up close. It's it's starting to grow lichen. You can see like small circles here and there. But yeah, it's, it's pretty dirty. We won't be going in there. We're not washing that. We're just uh, going to be washing around the house. You guys can already see like um, organic growth right there and also over there so originally I was only going to do the house and the concrete he had said no to the basement stairs um, I think he attempted to wash them I think he attempted back here actually too kind of looks like they tried I'm not really sure that's just my guess I remember maybe my mind's playing tricks on me I remember there being like a carpet of like moss along the edges and now there's barely any I mean even even on the um even on the wood what are these called they're not wood stakes I forget what they're called like railroad beams I don't know what they're called um, but even on these there's not that much anymore and then over here too you guys can see how black it is You guys can see how dirty it is. Oh, let's try zooming in. Cause there's a gate right here and I already, I already exited the gate, but let's see. Yeah. All right, let's zoom back out. All right. Again, we're not doing that. Just work, working around it. Again, it's just, it's just dirty. You guys can already tell. And lastly, this side over here. Uh, but the game plan is going to be and start right here, do this concrete, and then go in the back, do as much concrete as I can, and then take out the soft wash pump and start doing the back. Once I do the, uh, actually I do the front too with soft wash pump because it does have sides that get raised. So like right here, you don't really see the sides exposed, but further down you come, you do see the sides exposed exposed and I want to make sure those come out really nice and clean and so instead of blasting that I'll just put uh, I'll just use the soft wash gun to get as much chemical on the side oh if you guys wanted an update on my daughter uh, my wife texts me she she actually sent me a snapchat well both she texts me 
and she sent me a snapchat telling me that uh so far leah is good right now in the morning so that's good i'm really happy that she feels a lot better because man poor baby she was in a lot of pain last night all right i'm gonna go ahead and get started now Okay guys, I just finished with the front and the side of the house and also rinsing the concrete. So I just wanted to give you guys an update how everything's coming out. I remember them telling me that they got new gutters and you can tell that, yeah, the, the gutters are new because the fascia, you can tell the wear and tear on it and the different color and the gutters just came out bright white again. And the gutters also have, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a cover on it for the leaves. Cause I did offer 
them to clean out the the gutters but they said that the gutters are not dirty that they just have the covers on them so that's why if you see a lot of leaves and you're wondering why didn't I offer that as well that's why uh, I only do gutter cleaning on one story homes and this was like a what would you call this a tri-level home which is basically a one story home because I'm not uh, I'm scared of heights so I don't go up that high um, so I mean I would go up to there though that's perfectly fine I'll show you guys how this is coming up how this came out uh, that looks like it's just um, uh, what is it called not tar um, seal coat so that's just seal coat that's more seal coat right there but yeah this came out really really nice and clean really good I didn't even have to use too much pressure because uh, the chemical did all the work Look at those windows they're already drying they're just wet I already left the door open so that it dries as well I made sure to get up in here because there was a lot of biter webs or cobwebs but yeah so far so good those uh, wood planters even uh, improved a lot too they were they were pretty dirty on this side everything came off too uh, luckily there was enough room to get in behind those trees right there bushes whatever they are where I could make sure that it comes out nice and clean yeah so you see I was just trying to spray in behind that I want to go ahead and show you guys how everything came out on these last two sides but everything came out really good there's enough sun over here, so I hope you guys can see how nice and clean it's coming out, or how nice and clean it came out. I'm sure I mentioned this already, but it's aluminum siding, so it's clean. It's just, uh, if it doesn't look clean or it looks kind of brownish or it doesn't look as white, is because it's just uh, normal wear and tear on the aluminum. Uh, you, you can really see it. Here, let me zoom in real quick. You can see it right there, like, it just starts to wear off. I don't know, something hit it. Maybe some, maybe there was a tree here before and it was rubbing on it. Um, but yeah, everything's nice and clean. It's just drying over here on this side now. It came out really nice. I'll show you guys the concrete. The concrete came out amazing. Here's the concrete. Uh, in that corner, it's just rust. Rust and looks like some paint. Uh, I do want to say that this is probably the best drain that I've ever come across and I don't know who, who made that drain but that drain is amazing I had no trouble every now and then leaves will pile up but I would just take the leaves out and it would drain super quick yeah it's nice and clean down here um, any darker shades it's just from the concrete but it's it's clean super clean I'll show you guys the stairs going up Uh, I rinsed off the rails too because the, ra the rails also had uh, some moss and lichen on it. Yeah, everything came out really nice and clean. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw in the video that side, I couldn't hit it from, from over here. So I had to get up over there and then aim over here. But I made sure to wash that side too. Let's go, let's go over to the last side now. So what I did once I started uh, over here on this on this last side um, on the on the bench right here I just stood up and I was able to shoot over there I was able to shoot over there and make sure that I wash everything yeah all this came out nice and clean try to uh, minimize the amount of overspray in, into the into the uh, enclosed uh, and a lot of wind into the enclosed porch um, but it was only so much I could do and then this is what I was talking about I, I just stood up here and I was just shooting over there I just went pretty heavy on it to make sure that I washed everything but yeah that's it. Uh, I'm going to start cleaning up. Actually, I'll ask the customer to come out first. 
and then we will do a walk around all right guys we're all done we're gonna do another vlog and drive because i want to go home i am tired i am hungry thought i couldn't get out for a second So yeah, I did the walk around with the customer and he actually let me know that, um, so he let me know a couple things about his house. He let me know that his house used to be yellow way back in the day and he painted it white. So that's why we were starting to see that the uh, paint was fading off. Cause he said, he, he said it was a while ago, a long, not a while ago, like a long, long, long time ago. He said uh, many years ago when they added the addition to the house, Sorry, they're doing a lot of construction. Not a lot of construction. They're doing some construction on the water water main here or water source. I don't know what you would call it. So I just have to be really careful. Especially because I'm driving with my trailer to constantly look on the sides. He let me know that he had the house washed like around 2019 or 2020. Um, so what's that? Like either three or four years ago. And uh, he didn't want to use them again. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, well, I, I really hope that you like how it turned out uh, with me. He said, he said, no, yeah, that he was, uh, I'm looking, I'm trying to turn. He said, no, yeah, I really like how it came out. It looks, it looks nice and clean. So um, he just said, thank you very much. Uh, Hopefully he gives us a, a, a Google review. I think he will. I think it came out really nice. Um, he liked how uh, how the concrete came out too. Oh, another thing he to was telling me, because uh, I told him that is the best drain that I've ever worked with uh, for basement stairs. He's like, really? We've had a, we used to have a lot of problems with it, but we had it redone. Uh, he's like, so we haven't had too many problems with it, but it's because we had it redone. I was like, no. It is definitely the best one because if it got full, all I had to do was put my hand in there and um, remove like the leaves and the water would drain out instantly. Like it, that's really all it was. It was just because it was the leaves were covering it or something was covering it, some, some, some debris. I was like, so whatever you guys did, it, it really, it, it fixed the problem. So yeah, that is it for today. I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow yet. Uh, I guess you'll have to stay tuned and see whether I am at home with my daughter. But yeah, thank you guys for all your support, all your, um, man, you guys, I feel like, you, oof, sorry, just going over a big bump. Even though it's a small following, I feel like a lot of the comments that I get, like literally like 99% of the comments that I get, uh, really, sorry, I'm trying to get through. Uh, are really positive and supportive so thank you guys for all that I really appreciate it um, probably tilting right here I hope you guys learned something new I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'll see you guys on the next one so uh, get out there and get it man if I'm doing it you could do it and peace